Hey YouTube Texas Blades here. So today we're going to take a look at a new pocket knife. We just got one from the Fat Man's Contest. And I hope I'm saying this right. This is the Senren Mu 723. Um, got a little bit of information on it, not a whole lot. Did not look at the price on this knife <clears throat> as it was a gift. You know, that would be kind of rude to do, but I'm going to say somewhere in the $20 range. Um, I like this knife a lot. I'm just going to say that right off the back. I've been EDC in it. I put the para frame up, and this is what I carry now. Uh, I've been playing with it for about a week now. The thing is razor sharp out of the box. You're looking at uh, the blade is tie coated 8 HCR 13 MOV uh, 57 HRC uh, stainless steel blade handle scales and I guess that's not scales, but the handle and the uh, pocket clip here. The only thing I don't like about the pocket clips is not deep carry. I like deep carry uh, pocket clips, but I can live with this. It ain't bad. Um, weight is 85 grams. Blade is about two, almost two and three quarters. Overall length is about six and a half inches, so it is a short knife. Uh, and if I had anything to complain about, it would be how short it is. It's it's harder for me to open with my big hands. I'm used to holding a knife with all four fingers and flinging it open. Uh, this one I can only get, you know, one to grip here and then one to hold on the bottom here, and my pinky's loose. And you see, I get it right there, and it just stops. So you really you just have to flick it. It opens really easy. It actually glides open. It's just because of how stubby my fingers are. Uh, it doesn't want to open for me all the time. I'm going to tell you, since I've been playing with this blade, it's bit me about four times. I'm um, just sitting there flinging it open and close it. I closed it down on my hand right here, and it got me. Uh, it got me on a couple uh, knuckles, some fingers. It is a razor sharp little knife. Um, I'm going to keep EDC in this knife. I like it. It's really thin. That's one of my favorite things about these knives. Uh, it's how thin they are. You know, the paraframe is really thin as well. Um, you know, I used to EDC the Buck Bantam, and it was just too wide, and I didn't like the lock back. I then got used to the frame lock, liner lock, whatever. I guess this would be considered a frame lock. I can open it and close it really easy one-handed. And it just glides open, man. I'm going to say they should be charging 25 30 bucks for these knives right here. Uh, I love the handles, by the way. I love carbon fiber handles, and this has that carbon fiber look. Uh, I really like that. It's really smooth. It's a smooth surface. So it's not anything you'd want to get oily and then try to use. Uh, your hands may slip on it. But I just love these scales, or handles, rather. Feels good in the hand. Can't fill it in the pocket. Opens easy, closes easy. That's all I look for in a good pocket knife. And this one right here is a great little pocket knife. I enjoy it. So uh, we'll do an update review and let you guys know how things are going with it. We're going to work with it a little bit. So far, I've just done a little bit of cutting with it, not much. Uh, so I want to get a little bit more in with it before I do a good update video on it. Uh, but I'm going to be carrying this knife for a while now. This is going to be my new pocket knife. Uh, so we'll do an update. Uh, we got a bunch more knife videos coming out. I was going to do the Boker Magnum first, uh, but I had this one handy, and I've been using this one. I haven't used that Boker yet, so uh, we'll be doing a review on that one. It's uh, probably next few weeks or so, maybe next week. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.